G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the verification activity in Automation Studio to qualify the results of your SQL activities in Marketing Cloud. So verification activities are a great way to make sure that you qualify your data before you import it into your Marketing Cloud master data extensions. For example, a great way to use a verification activity is to qualify your data on the way in to make sure nothing unexpected happens. The best example I've seen of this is to qualify how many unsubscribes are occurring on a daily basis. If you know that the average unsubscribe count is about 100 unsubscribes per day, then you could use a verification activity to count how many unsubscribes you've received today. If that record is larger than say 200, then to raise a flag and stop the automation to import that data because something might be wrong in today's import. So let me show you how to build your very own verification activity. For today, I'm going to make an example where we're going to make an SQL activity to check our importing data to make sure all of our records have a marketing flag. So in my example today, I've got a data extension called Sample Rows and there are 13 current records. I'll make an SQL activity which will query these 13 records, looking for any records that do not have a marketing flag. If any records don't have a marketing flag, they'll be put into the Sample Rows check data extension, which you can then use a verification activity to check if the data extension has more than zero rows, then to stop the automation to import the data because we have got something that's out of bounds and not expected. So I've jumped into Automation Studio, and as you can see here in my verification automation, I've got an SQL activity called Sample Rows Check. If I take a look, the SQL activity here is selecting all the data from that data extension of Sample Rows where the email opt-in is null. That is where our customers have not provided an email opt-in flag of true or false. So let's run this and see how many records have a null flag. So the SQL is now running, and if we jump back into our data extension, we can have a quick look ourselves, quick sneak peek, and if we have a look in our records, we'll see that even though the flag was a boolean nullable, all our records here have an email opt-in of true or false. So we jump back into our data extension folder, we should see zero records, with our automation being completed, there should be zero records found. Perfect. What we can then do is jump back into our automation workflow and add in our verification activity. We can drag that into our second step on our canvas and go configure. Now here it gives us the choice of what data extension to listen to. You can see here it's show data extensions in this automation. We could choose of course all data extensions, but because we want to check this data extension in this automation, We'll leave it as this automation, choosing the sample rows check, and choose next. Now what we're going to listen for is the condition of the count is not equal to, or is not equal to zero. That means there are not zero records in that data extension once the SQL is completed. Now if that's the case, we do want to stop the automation because someone's data has not been completed, they've not provided a marketing flag, we can also send ourselves an email notification if we choose as well. With that complete, we'll then go next and finish. Now the good news is, as we just tested, this current SQL will return zero records, which means it will pass through verification and continue on. We can in fact place a wait activity afterwards and configure this to have a one minute wait just to make sure it does continue. What we want to do though is try it out just in case there is some records that do return we do want this verification to stop the automation. So what I can do is I can jump into my SQL, and I can edit my existing SQL statement here, and change it from saying email opt-in is null, to instead say where email opt-in is equal to false. Make sure it looks okay, and there we go. So any records that now come through with a false marketing flag will prevent the automation from continuing. I can save the activity and choose to run once, this time choosing to run the entire activity to see if the wait condition, the wait activity, the third activity there runs, or if it stops on activity two. Okay, so the SQL is now running and hopefully the results of our new SQL statement, which have said, if there are any records where the marketing flag is false, or they've not opted into marketing, it will then trigger the verification activity to stop the automation. Let's give it a refresh and there we go. It has in fact stopped. Out of bounds, there were six rows found in the sample rows check, which meant the automation stopped because of out of bounds. Perfect. So as you can see, the verification activity is a very useful activity to add to your automations, just in case you have to check for some data to make sure it has all the information you need to process your next activity. 
For example, for adding records into a journey that has a voucher, you may want to check that every record has a voucher before adding them to your journey. And likewise for marketing flags in our example today, or other data that is critical to your business. And that's all for this quick look into the verification activity in Automation Studio. If you enjoyed today's video, then please let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to give it a like, and also subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.